Oh, there you go. Just wake him. I just dropped my bed stick down. Put a fresh bait on there. Ready to you know, that's a good tip too, Tim. You want to have uh, fresh bait on whenever you can. You should always be changing, putting a fresh minnow head on there, getting fresh blood in the water. You look at them yet? Oh, yeah, look at that one. That's awesome, Tim. Now, what a way to start us out. Tim, you got the big first big walleye bite. Why don't you open the show? Tell us what we're doing. Yeah, welcome everybody. This is Tim Hill up at Arnold's Rocket Point. We're, we're uh, fishing out of our day rental houses. Uh, just trying out a new spot. We moved this house a couple days ago. And Roger came to visit me and we just got our first walleye. Beautiful big fish. Rod and reel selection is easy for this type of fishing. We're using 24 to 30 inch rods. Either light or medium light power is more than adequate even for the big fish up here. You don't need heavy action rods. Now, the shorter rods are great for the dead sticks. You can position them easily right over the hole. Run six to eight pound monofilament like Suffolk Ice Magic is great for that. Um, if you like to use braid, especially on the jigging rods, uh, a good braid like Suffolk Ice Braid, 10 pound with a little barrel swivel in line and then a five to eight pound fluorocarbon leader for your dropper. Um, all the baits provided, and you can either use just minnow heads on your jigging spoons or a whole minnow if you like. And then certainly on the dead sticks, you want to run a live minnow, especially dorsal hooked is great. They'll go down to the bottom there and wiggle with your little jig or your dropper and uh, trigger a lot of fish that way as well. Ooh. Big, but add that tap like a perch maybe. Oh, nice jumbo. Putting out all my bait that I missed. <laughs> <laughs> I got biter. one on two over here. Not quite as nice as yours. All right. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh, I'll keep it, though. Oh, nice boy. Good mixed bag today. Yeah. Some beautiful walleyes, some beautiful perch. Probably half decent. enough, I'm gonna have to get down and get it. We, we like that. It's better than when you can swing in, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty decent walk. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Well, that's awesome. At Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, you can go with an American plan package, which includes your meals with your fishing package. Dining in the Rock Harbor Lodge, breakfast and dinner, and then lunch out on the lake. Track van transportation to and from two to six person fish houses, and also they have a fleet of sleeper fish houses. Or if you prefer, you can go on a housekeeping package, which means you bring your own groceries and beverages. All of the cabins have fully stocked kitchens with all the cookware and utensils. Okay, another thing that makes Arneson such a great destination in any season of fishing is its proximity to a number of different reefs. There's a ton of structure out from the south shore from Arneson's. Uh, that holds more bait fish, attracts more predator fish like walleyes and saugers, as well as some jumbo perch and northern pike. And rather than it just being the featureless basin of Lake of the Woods, where it's you know square miles of 32 deep, 32 feet deep water, there's a lot of structure and reefs, and we can sit on the houses on the edges of these reefs, and you end up catching more fish. Typically during a, a day of fishing, you're going to have a lot of activity on your screen. You won't always trigger the fish to bite; they'll go through different moods. But it's always fun to have something on your screen and you're paying more attention to what's going on down there. It's more active fishing. It's, there's more potential and more excitement in your fishing day knowing that there's always something down there ready to bite. There you go, Mark. There we go. That's a nice fish. See that strike indicator popping? That was cool. I'm loving this in Christ. A little flurry on the, on the subtler presentation right now. Oh, beautiful eye. Oh, nice. Here we go. Gonna get some bigger ones mixed in. That's just a perfect slot, huh? Yeah. 
beautiful, perfect for the bride. <laughs> so fun. This is a nice one. For you right now. <laughs> So here's, here's the tale, the way this segment's been going. We have flurries, right? Just like we've been talking about. You get your your mixed bag, your perch in there, your walleye, you get a stronger, you get a little lull, a little down period. So we've been changing up lures, right? Looking for the secret weapon. You get to try different stuff. And I put on a, a lure that I used to fish with up here all the time, that I haven't fished with in a long time. <laughs> I've got four fish in a row without that even being able to get to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Beautiful fish from Arneson's Rocky Point Resort. That's why we come up here right there. Mark, if folks want to experience this great fish and like we've been showing them, how do they reach you? Well, you can give us a call at 1-800-535-7585 or look us up on the web at Arneson. That's the place to go for winter fish in Minnesota's Lake of the Woods with our track band driver Tim Hillmark, Arnie and Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Yeah, buddy! <laughs>